All right, we can't mess around with this one. I've got a class about half an hour. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Lots to get into today. First, as usual, the tip for weight control. Uh, secondly, raise. Do we even want to raise? I want to talk about that. Sort of, again, an absurd, absurd comment, but I want to look at that. New to you and converting those to regular students. I want to give, uh, there was a great post in the Hutong. I'll give credit where credit is due. I want to go over quickly some things to do to hopefully convert more new students into regular students. Control of your schedule. So this has been floated around there. VIP kid taking control of your schedule. We'll talk about that. And I got a response back from uh, support regarding feedback. Is there an expiry on when parents can give you feedback uh, after the class is taught? So let's get right into it. The tip for weight control today is try and drink water continuously throughout the day. So the more thirsty you are often means the more hungry you are as well. Water will fill you up a little bit. Um, so if you can continuously drink, don't drink too much, but just continue, continuously drink water throughout the day, that is excellent. And back to my milk tip, on with milk. If you can drink a little bit of milk before your meal, that will help fill you up a bit and maybe allow you not to eat as much uh, while you eat. So a couple of things to consider there. Okay, on to raise. Now, this is an ongoing topic here with the raise and the requirements and just do we even want to raise? And again, it seems like a crazy thing to say, but the higher your cost is for VIP kid, I don't know, will that bring down your bookings? I don't know. A lot of teachers right now are indicating that the higher paid ones are really seeing their bookings drop and the cost of labor, the higher your cost is, will that therefore bring down your bookings? Anyways, I don't know, leave your comments down below, just something to consider on whether we even wanna raise to begin with here uh, for that part. Now, on to new to you uh, and converting those to regular students. I really like this post, it's really top of mind for me right now because we're not getting very many new students and you need to capitalize on every new student you get and try and convert them over to a regular. So I'm just gonna quick rapid fire here, 30 seconds on things you can do to try and convert more students to regular students. So rapid fire, this comes mostly from, uh, her name was Caitlin Nguyen really butchering that name. But anyways, I really like this post. I had a few things myself also, but I really like this. Be genuine, patient, friendly, be you, very important, be you. Don't be someone else, be yourself. Do more than the slides. Be fun, play games for your rewards. Correct pronunciation all the time. Don't miss any opportunities there as best you can, unless there's a lot of them, of course. Smile build rapport, do a great job with feedback, make them laugh, very important. Remember what they like, put those as notes on the, the kid's file, what they like, what they like to do, put that on their file. Remember to always scaffold and customize your class to their needs, I know that goes without being said, but scaffold, very important. Reply to every five Apple feedback. Go the extra mile with that student. Stand in class if you can. All of those are great ways to convert more new students into regulars. So those are tips, some from me, a lot though from Caitlin. She did a great job on summarizing things to consider for existing and new teachers. Thank you for coming back to the channel. If you are new around here, please subscribe if you can bang on that bell so that you can get notified of when I come out with videos. I do come out with videos every few days on current events here, which there seems like there is a lot of these days. There are a lot of. So also, if you can like my video, it will help them get more views. I really appreciate that. And you subscribers, thank you very much. Okay, on to control of the schedule. Now, this has been floated out there that VIP kid they released a survey or they sent out a survey to a certain 
uh, amount of teachers saying, would you be okay with VIP Kid taking more control of your schedule and basically booking you classes for that? So this has spooked a lot of teachers, obviously, with what's been going on lately. And I just want to touch on two things on how I don't ever see that taking place. And then I'll touch on why I think VIP Kid might be coming out with this little question right now also. Firstly, look at their platform. Everything is built around the parents picking the teacher. Everything right now. So all the videos that we do, all, there's tons of them. The intro video, the, the bio that we do, the new to you students, the teacher showcase, all of those, they're all built around the, the parent picking. This is why VIP Kid, amongst a lot of other things, but a big reason why they're so successful, because the parents love the platform and being able to pick the students. So it just on that level alone, I can't see VIP Kid ever taking control because that takes away their big advantage, in my opinion. VIP Kid has a sister company, and that's what the sister company does. The sister company books you classes. Now it is a one to multiple student basis, so it's different on that regard also. But that's what they do, and they are not seeing near the success that VIP Kid is. And I think it's mainly because the parents love the platform. They love being able to pick the teacher, search the profile. So for that reason alone, I can't see them ever doing that. The second reason, VIP Kid is walking a very tight rope here, a very narrow tight rope with not considering you and I as employees. They are walking that and they need to keep doing that so that they do not have to pay out benefits. So if you start messing around with this and you start taking control of, of teacher schedules, well, now we're even more like a, a, an employee. And we've already seen what they've done with California. California stepped in and said, no, you guys are employees if you work for VIP Kid. Well, if they take another step towards that direction, more states are going to jump on board and VIP Kid does not want that. So that is reason too why I can't see them ever doing that. So why would they bring this up in the survey? Okay, let's throw out another analogy. Maybe this will make sense. Maybe not. We'll see. So let's say, remember back when we were little and getting something for Christmas, we rip open the gift and we see a pair of socks, a pair of socks. And we look at mom and dad with just utter disappointment. And we're like, what socks? And mom and dad say, hey, you listen here, you be thankful for what you have. Many kids around the world don't get socks. They don't get anything for Christmas. So that my analogy there, maybe it won't make sense, but basically to say, be thankful for what you have. So maybe they're just floating that out there to try and just bring down the rhetoric that's been out on our side, just complaining about everything, be thankful for what you have. I don't think they would implement taking control of the schedule. Leave your comments, that's my opinion. I just can't see them ever doing that. But who knows, let's wait and see. Okay, on to support. So I did get comments back on a, on the seven day limit. This has been floated around the hutong, that, there may be a seven day limit on parents leaving feedback and that is an issue right now since parents can't find it or at least that's what, what's being told anyways that parents can't find it and that's why we're seeing our feedback come down. So I went back to support and I'll just bring up my notes and I had to go back and forth four or five times. I'm just gonna tell you what they're telling me. I'm not getting a direct answer exactly but here here's the question I asked. I basically said, can you please tell me, they gave me a link, and I basically said, can you please tell me what the link says, because I can't see anything for time, li time limit. Has it changed to seven days? And they came back and said, until now, we did not implement this policy yet, but if we want update something about parent feedback, we will post up in the teacher portal. So again, I know English is an issue and, and translating it over from Mandarin, but no, it doesn't sound like there's any time limit as of right now. Um, I don't know if it's in the policy right now and they don't implement it. I can't see anything there. I don't see anything in the link that she sent me. Anyways, bottom line is there's no limit as of now from at least what support's telling me, but they may implement something or they may come up with something in the future which 
could be an issue here since a lot of parents will are not leaving feedback right now and that would prevent them from going back to seven days greater than seven days on classes taught to sort of dump a bunch of feedback so stay tuned that may change I can't get a direct answer from support at least on there right now with that anyways that's it for today please like please subscribe come back we'll do a video in the next few days I gotta get to class bye everybody